Hey everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the iPhone 12 in the red color. So here we have the box. We got the little accents right here. Uh, the phone itself here with the wallpaper. And we are gonna take a look at this and, uh, ooh, I like that. I like this color. What is this? Hmm. This has like a slight oranginess to it. Um, and I think you can tell in the video, it doesn't look uh, super deep red like we've seen in previous years. This has a slightly lighter tint to it. It actually looks really, really nice. I actually do prefer this to the deeper red we've gotten before. In the previous video, when we took a look at the blue one, I spoke about how we've gotten those deep reds in the past. Now we have this deep blue. This red is not in the same vein that this is a deep blue. This is definitely going into a mixture of color here, which is really, really great. The side for sure here, the aluminum is definitely, definitely red. So if you put a case on this and you only want to show what's red, I think it'll hide this slightly kind of reddish orangey back, which I think looks incredible. And actually um, just right off the bat there, let me remove this real quick here so you can see how the front looks. I think right off the bat, this might be my actual favorite color here of the iPhone 12. Um, it just looks really, really nice. You can see the aluminum there, looks stunning. And then we look at the back and it's just a very nice, subtle looking red. It's just very nice. So here, let's, for example, put a uh, black case on it. So I have this one right here that would hide some of that oranginess and you only get the red side. So you can see you can still go for that red and black uh, look if you put a skin on this or whatever. That right here doesn't look all that red, but the accents on the lenses are definitely red right there. So that's worth noting. It does look really, really nice. What a nice color though. Pleasant surprise for sure. We do have one color left, which is the green one to unbox. So hopefully that one doesn't let us down either. In case you wanna see here, the blue versus the red again. There you go. That's how both of these look. I definitely would 100% go with the red as opposed to the blue here. It's a shade of red that I really like versus a shade of blue that I'm not just all that fond of. But here is black and red, white, black, and red, and then white, black, red, and blue. So you can see these colors here that we've unboxed and you can compare for yourself in case you wanna see them to see what to get. I really gotta say that in the previous video, we took a look at the white one, and yes, it's not really, really white, but uh, I really do like the color. So moving aside from the fact that it's not white, I love the color, and my top two favorite colors are actually definitely the red and the white, with the close second being this guy right here. And mainly because this one, you can put like a skin on this back and get a whole matte black finish, which is really nice. And I think the bottom one for me is gonna have to be the blue one because again, it's just a shade of blue that I personally just do not associate with very well because I do like the lighter colors. All right, so I spoke so much about what the color was like that I forgot to mention what's inside the box here. You do get a lightning to USB-C, of course. No fast charging or power adapter. Apple is selling that separately this year, unfortunately. This right here, we do get something a little different to the other ones. It does say product red. And uh, here it just says in partnership with Red Apple, will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV AIDS programs and help deliver an AIDS free generation. And uh, that's what that does when you buy a product red device, which is nice. You have here your SIM eject tool and just a normal Apple sticker. Red Apple sticker would be kind of neat, but that is what you get in here. But moving on back to the red one right here, I dang, is it a good red color? I can tell you that if you like red and um, you're fine with it not being like super deep red like we've gotten in previous years, this is really, really, really nice. Let me go ahead and show it to you here in a slightly different lighting condition there so you can see it there. Hopefully you can kind of see those kind of orangey, pinkish, almost like salmon tones, I would say but uh, I really like it. It just looks really, really nice. This would have been a very nice like orangey phone with uh, some bezels that aren't red, but uh, the red bezels of course do look incredible as well. Now to see how it looks like if you're texting or whatnot, here I am holding the phone, da 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 da, talking on the phone from a distance so you can see that. Um, it's really good. And I also like the fact that right here, this isn't gonna show as much fingerprints as you would get with the black one. So it is quite nice. 
Compared to the blue one, uh, I would say they're about on par with the amount of fingerprints, but I just really like this. It actually kind of reminds me of the Coral iPhone that we got a couple years back. It's just a very nice color and honestly a really nice surprise to see this color like this because I quite like it. But I know that some people that were looking for a deep red one aren't going to be satisfied with this one given that we've gotten some really nice red tones in the previous years. With that said, just to show you here, let's go ahead and put on a clear case, which uh, actually works quite nicely. Yeah, it works nicely. Looks good. Let's see here and put on this clear frosted case. Mm, oh, maybe actually, I think that kind of works. It's gonna like uh, mat things out a little bit. And honestly, that kind of works. I, I would definitely put like a frosted black case as opposed to a clear like this, but it definitely does work. And you can see that right there. And uh, I really do like this color. My goodness, is it a nice color? Let's see here, leather with like something like blue. It does work because it's not like a super, super deep red. So there's a nice little contrast that I quite like there. You can see that there. Here, the porch showing at the bottom. Very nice. It, the color just goes really well. I would say um, more so than the blue with matching onto things. Let's see here, for example, leather. Mm, yeah, yeah, it kind of works. It, it kind of is a bit off because it's just like a really fun color with like a very serious case. And last but not least, let's go ahead here and try just this one right here, which is one of those thick cases, but it is black. So let's try this one out because I haven't tried it in any of the other videos. So I thought, why not? Might as well just do this one for the last one here. But uh, yeah, again, this is the iPhone 12. So you are going to get a 6.1 inch display, same size as the Pro. You have two cameras instead of three cameras. You don't have the LiDAR sensor, but for the most part, it's basically the exact same thing as the 12 Pro, there's very few features missing. I would say this is better bang for your buck than the 12 Pro because you do get a lot of stuff here. And you can kind of see that there, it's a very nice looking device. I would say that if you're semi interested in the red, I would definitely consider moving it up a bit and thinking about going for this one because it is really nice. So definitely consider this if you're looking into the colors and deciding on which one to get because I think a lot of people are gonna really, really like this phone. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out all the other videos on the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.